Hello everybody, hope you're having an amazing day today. My name is Steve, this is my wife Lindsay, Hi. and today we're gonna to be checking out something that Lindsay's been super excited about checking out for quite some time now, and that is boarding schools in the UK. Mm -hmm. Now, Lindsay went to some sort of a boarding school type of high school, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I, you call it. It was like a public boarding school, which is, you. that's pretty rare, I think, because most are private. At right. least in the U.S., um, but I think it's now private. I think, were you, I think were now you, you have to pay tuition to go there. But anyway, when I went, it was public, and it was just your junior and senior year of high school. You couldn't go for your freshman and sophomore. No, they only did junior senior. So you went when you were sixteen, right? Yeah. That's why Or I was about to turn 16. Like, I have no experience with boarding schools or anything like that. Um, so it's a completely <laughs> foreign world to me. But, you know, I, I do know that especially wealthier families in the UK, it seems. I don't know why I had this impression in my head that a lot of wealthy families send their children at pretty young ages off to boarding schools. Where does that come from? Where do I... Probably movies and yeah. TV shows. I don't know if that's the reality. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, my head would... Did Mary Poppins... Were, did, were those kids at a boarding school? I don't know. It's been so long since I saw that movie. But yeah, I think it might be movies or whatnot. <clears throat> we can focus on each individual girl and tailor the curriculum, provide things um, that will help her blossom, um, then we would have done a very good job for her. In education, that's what's really important, trying things out, because that's how you learn. What we offer, I think, is a, is a kind of global outlook, but in a very British setting. They earned their fame and charm thanks to the best-selling books by Joan Rowling about Harry Potter. In the grand and respectable walls, young people live, work and socialise together. Beautiful buildings. That is. Here they start spreading their wings and at the same time, get used to some kind of discipline and rigor. The famous British boarding school. That, that is the type of uniform I picture for some reason. Where does that come from? Where do I have that image in my head? Like Harry Potter. But I don't think I've seen Harry Potter. You, okay, but you might not have seen the full length movie, but you've seen clips and pieces. It's so popular. Like, you know, I. It would be really hard to send your, I can't imagine sending Sophia away. I mean, yeah. if she wanted to, like, you know, 16 or 17. But yeah. earlier than that, I just can't imagine just sending her off and just. Yeah. I don't know. My mom said it was hard enough when I was. I can imagine. 16. I can imagine. Nick and inspiring. Well, in fact, real boarding schools do not teach you how to make spells, but one can't deny there's some sort of magic in them. Jest bardzo dużo ludzi z całego świata, bardzo dużo niesamowicie inteligentnych ludzi, którzy są od rozmawiają i ja się też na co dzień uczę się bardzo dużo do moich znajomych, nie tylko od nauczycieli. This is where pupils discover their passions, talents, and face their first challenges. But perhaps the most important thing the teachers know how to guide a pupil to help their potential to flourish. From the minute you walk onto the grounds of the school, you get a sense of community, and the girls are very confident in this community. Badminton School in Bristol is a school for girls, a cosy campus and almost family-like atmosphere. Wow. Some girls are out there playing. Sports activities are an important part of the curriculum. So does this so far, does this look like anything uh, related to what you did with and your kind experience? Kind of, kind of. It, the one I went to, we definitely had a very diverse group of kids. Like there were... Was it all girl or was it No, it co was co-ed. I mean, obviously it's different because this is in the UK and they have a lot different interests there like sports and stuff but the boarding school i went to is interesting because it was on a university campus mm -hmm. so it was and then there was a charter school also on the university campus so we kind of shared sports teams with them mm. we didn't have our own sports teams at the academy that i went to so I, I, it's different in that way so far i 
like I said, I don't have any experience with boarding schools at all. Don't know anything at all about them. Um, you know, and I, I can't imagine wanting to send my daughter off to one because I mean, just, you know, I, I just don't want to send my daughter off when she's too young to go yeah. off, you know, uh, but I can imagine that it's a really good, um, you know, way to make lifelong friends. I mean, you can imagine you make lifelong friends in high school and college anyway, mm -hmm. a lot of times. Yeah. Um, but can you imagine, you know, going somewhere like this where you're so immersed with your fellow pupils? They um, become your family. Yeah. Especially if right. you go when you're really young and right. then through high school. Right. Meanwhile, another group is finishing their arts class. The best pictures will soon wow. be displayed in the school's gallery. They really enjoy what they do and we teach them to do things well, to, you know, really important craft skills. And it's about that kind of educating people to be visually astute, to have an aesthetic awareness and an understanding. And that's a really important kind of life enriching, you know, skill and experience, I think. You may only enter the premises of the school after prior arrangement. This is because of security. For the principal, Rebecca Teer, it's utterly important that the girls feel safe and comfortable. It makes the teaching learning process more effective. Did you have uniforms? They can really engage mm -hmm. no. everything, play a role. That's in another difference, I guess. Try things out. That's a major difference. And there difference. was barely a dress code. Yeah, that's a major difference. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that most of the boarding schools in the U.S. are a lot different from the boarding schools in the U.K., uh, up to and including the fact I guarantee you most of the boarding schools here probably don't have dress codes. I know the one, the other northern Indiana boarding school does have really? uniforms. Yeah, hmm. Culver. That surprises but me. But ours didn't. You know, even in regular uh, schools in the UK, most of yeah, them have true uniforms. uniforms. And that is definitely something different here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for me, in education... I can see it going both ways, whether I like that or not, if I was right. a pupil. It makes it easy to dress, mm -hmm. which I would like, but I think a lot of looks girls like probably wouldn't. World in, miniature. in the halls of residence, you will find pupils from nearby Somerset, living and working alongside those from distant countries and cultures. I wonder what they're working. Um, and doing. Mexico, uh, oh. Kenya, Russia, Germany, Spain. Okay, that's one difference I will say. Here, at least the boarding school I went to, we didn't Americans. really have exchange students that mm. I know of. I don't remember it anyway. Maybe a couple, but it was mostly kids from the U.S. Right, and, That make, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. You know. But it seems like UK boarding schools attract a lot of international students. For some reason, that doesn't surprise me. Me either, but I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why either, but it doesn't <laughs> surprise me. I, I feel like it would be if you're looking to, if you're in a country that doesn't have a lot of boarding schools and you're going to send them off to a country of boarding schools, it, the UK is just where it I, my my brain goes to maybe because they have so many yeah and maybe and because of also, harry potter and stuff like that yeah just takes and brain to that. also because it's more centrally located yeah that's true <laughs> especially to europe and yeah. stuff even to africa mm -hmm. hong kong china uh, south korea nigeria so a real wide variety this diversity is not a coincidence the school's mission is to prepare young people to live in a globalizing and highly diversified world. That it's important for the girls to have an understanding of different cultures um, and how they work and operate. The school's principal is convinced that schools for girls have only a very positive effect on the academic performance of the pupils. Girls' schools produce most girls' scientists um, going off into universities these days. Um, now, that links really nicely with our focus on critical and creative thinking. I can appreciate that, the creative thinking, Comprehensive focus. Comprehensive educational mm -hmm. development at this stage does not only refer to the sciences. British boarding schools give their pupils a chance to further their artistic talents, whether it's drama in well-equipped theatre halls or design wow. or music. Wow, that's amazing. It really is. I wonder how many years they go off. On average? I yeah. Because some of them look pretty young. Doverbrooks mm -hmm. College is a co-educational school. Its major advantage is location. 
The school is based in Oxford, near the famous university. So it allows the pupils to use the resources of this prestigious academia. We have links with the university, we have... So that's kind of how, obviously um, not on the level of Oxford, but that's that was similar yeah. to the situation I had at the boarding school I went to. Because it was on the university campus, we right. could take like college classes and get credit before we graduated. Right, that, that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool work with their clubs and their, their um, programs so we can use their facilities. So we have a, a concert next week that is in university buildings. Uh, it's part of one of the colleges. So it gives us access to lots of resources. Many of our teachers actually were from Oxford, so they've got that experience as well. A real British boarding school is more than just learning. It's a very special way of life. Here, pupils supervised by their personal tutors not only increase their knowledge, tutors. but also develop their passions and talents. <coughs> and what's equally important, they make friendships, which in many cases will last a lifetime. Julia came to Overbrooks nearly a year ago. She will soon be taking her A-levels here. She's planning to continue at a university, possibly Cambridge. What we offer, I think, is a, is a kind of global outlook, but in a very British setting. Um, the way we teach is very, very interactive and in small classes. So we can get to know each student well, and we can adjust according to what their background is, any issues they have in particular subjects. So it's a very personal approach to teaching. That's a major difference between public school here mm -hmm. and... Yeah. You have boarding school or private school. You have 40 students yeah. in a class. And, and a lot of times teachers can't give you one-on-one -on -one attention because it's just, there's too much happening. Like, they can't take the time to... Yeah, I, I, I even when I was going to school, it was like that, and it's only worse now. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's definitely a positive. Yeah, I like the small class. open environment. Students are very friendly to each other. Staff and students have a very easy, uh, comfortable rapport with each other. So I think students who come from other countries immediately feel welcome and we do a lot to make them feel welcome. We have a really good induction program. We make sure they've got a Head friend in the school already who's paired up with them for the first few days and weeks. But before Is that what you would call the leader of a boarding school here? Like, uh, I think not. here it would be called like a dean. Like, like kind of like a college? Mm. Huh. Yeah. Well, what we would call a college or a university. Yeah. Yeah. Break the ice and make friends with a new environment. The teachers realize perfectly well how important it is for the students to go through the first period of their stay at school. They know the pupils need extra support and they always provide it if and when needed. We have an international student supporter. Well, in fact, we have a group of international student supporters um, who are appointed to help with the overseas students when they arrive. Um, and they'll be paired up with the students, um, with individual students, to support them in any particular problems that they might have. It's a great challenge and, and very enjoyable. And, you know, at the end of the day, they, they go out into the world and I think they've really taken something of, of our way of life um, back home again, which I think is very important in this age of international, global, the global world in which we live. Wow. And though returns home straight away, many pupils... Can't get over the buildings, man. Mm. ...and continue their education. University College London. In many cases, they receive scholarships which enable them to pursue the degree of their choice. But even as students, they don't lose touch with their former schools, which try to monitor the careers of their pupils. We keep in touch and invite them back to give talks and so on, to enrich the life of the girls who are already here. We had a good percentage go to Oxford and Cambridge. We had a good cohort go on to be medics. But then again, we had a girl go off to the Guildhall School of Music to pursue a career as a singer, and another girl go to Central St Martins to start a, a career in art. So it's pretty diverse, and the girls are confident enough to be their own person. And and we will support them to be that. Recently, actually, last week, had an email from a student from America who had been here. Uh, I have to say this is the first time I've had contact with him since he left, but this is to tell me that his children are now old enough to come here, and could he come and talk to me about his children coming here? Exceptional opportunity for talented young pupils. 
an opportunity which is open to all thanks to various scholarship schemes. Wow, that was that was really interesting. I, I wonder how old they are. I wonder how old that student's kids are that he's thinking about sending oh, them there. Oh, from like, America. Yeah, like. Yeah. No. No. What? Seven or eight? Seven or eight years old. Most pupils start boarding school at the age 11 or 13. What? Are you serious? That's so young. And so, like, when you went to boarding school, you were there full time. Yeah. Like, for, like, you weren't coming home on weekends or anything. Like, no, you were. Because some kids did, but they lived up north. I lived. Yeah, you lived farther Southern away. Indiana, so it was a long time. No. There's no way. Oh, my God. So Sophia going to, leaving and going to a school to live by herself in three years from now, two years from now. No way, dude. For me personally, I wow. think that would have a pretty negative effect on kids. I, I, I like, that's, no, man. That To me, that is too young. I, I wouldn't personally it do that. It says they can start, but it says most start. Even 11 or 13. 11 or 13, like, and like, oh, so man, that's, really that is young. I want Sophia to experience her childhood as and long as possible. As long as possible yeah. and have all the innocence that comes along with that without yeah. without worrying about all the things that adults have to worry about. Right. And and I just feel like sending them off into a situation to where they are in this this setting right. without their family they have and to things. Fend for themselves. Right. It's it's a completely mm -hmm. different experience. And and maybe it's good for some kids, but like, man, that is young. It really wow. Is. And maybe that's just our American perspective is not the norm. Maybe most other countries that doesn't seem that extreme. Maybe, but but to yeah, us, it yeah. Seems that that extreme. seems extremely young. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there there's no way I could I could oh. do that uh, at those ages. You know, like I said, maybe fourteen, probably not, but fifteen or sixteen, maybe be about the age. But uh, I'm I'm shocked. I didn't know it'd be this young. Me either. Yeah, like. Yeah. I, I Gosh, tell you what, oh, that like, gives me like chills to think about. Like, right, there's no way out of I, the country. Like, yeah, I couldn't do it. I, eight, ten years old. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't do it. Just no, man, couldn't do it. Um, but I can see, I can see this would be a really cool experience for a lot of students. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, like, you get this. It, it probably develops discipline, and obviously, you're going to have a very. Uh, in-depth focus on your, your uh, hopefully your passions. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you'll learn your passions and then you can really pursue them full time while yeah. you're there. And maybe, just maybe, a lot of students today, well, kids in general today, have so much like social media and everything else that takes them off focus of more important things, mm -hmm. whether that's studying or whether that's you know, just making friends in person. Right. You know, I know today a lot of there a lot of uh, younger people today have problems socializing, and I think something like this could potentially be a big help with helping students socialize. Get you out of your comfort zone. Yeah, get you out of your comfort zone. So I can see a lot of a pros with the boarding school <laughs> approach, but. It would really depend on how young. I, there's no way I could send Sophia off to somewhere like this at 13 years old, no. 14 years old, 15 Neither. years old even. Neither. 16 would be the start of when I could potentially say, you know, but at that point, there's only a couple of years left anyway. But mm -hmm. I think I think it could be a really good thing for for, you know teens that are 16 or so, maybe 15. I don't know, but depending on how mature they are. Yeah, yeah, it's. Oh man, <laughs> I, I I don't know. It, it, it would. Be, I'm sure a lot of parents that have sent their kids off have a hard time with it. I don't really know a lot about boarding school except what I'm learning here and what mm -hmm. you've told me. But uh, altogether, I can definitely see some pros with it. Yeah, there's some cons too. But like what? Like I mean, besides the fact that you're not at home with your family, that right? That to me, that to me is a. I'll, I'll let you say what you want to say in just a second. Whatever you're about to say, I just wanted to get this out. It's like, you know, your kids youth flies by mm -hmm. and you know it really is the it's really the only time you're going to have to build a a foundation of a solid relationship with family mm -hmm. that goes on for the rest of their lives right 
And so, like, that's why I... I know, you just want to hang on for as long as possible. And, and it's one thing, eventually, you have Obviously to... Obviously, you want to let them spread their wings. Right, but it's but... like, send them to another country? Yeah. Like, when they're, I don't know, 12 years old? I, I don't even know how old, because I saw some really young-looking kids on this yeah. video over there. So, um, mm, I don't know. Anyway, what do you want to say? Well, I was just going to say one of the cons that I personally experienced from boarding school is that it kind of burnt me out mm. for college or university, as you mm. would say. And so I don't, uh, part of it is what I had going on in my personal life at the time. You know, I had a lot of emotional stress from a, a close family member passing away, actually a couple. And so it just added to that. But yeah, it, for me personally, it was a somewhat negative experience because it did kind of damage me, so to speak, for college. Yeah. But for most kids, that's not the case. I mean, I feel like a lot of kids yeah. really I think a lot benefit of, from it. But. Right. It, it seems like it. I think I think I think a lot of it also would be based off the kids' personality, mm -hmm. whether they would benefit highly from this or not. Yeah. Um, you know, I think there's some kids that would not benefit from this experience, probably being away from family so much and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I think some kids, uh, you know, just would have the personality and the temperament for something like this would be just, you know, just the greatest thing they could do. And it seems like at these boarding schools in the UK, there's a lot more guidance and mm -hmm support i guess one-on-one -on -one for which i didn't feel like i had as much at the boarding school i went to there probably was but i'm the kind of person who i like to keep things to myself and i don't want to reach out for help so right that could have been part of it too i'm but. curious guys let us know in the comments if you know anything about boarding schools if you've Did been you to boarding to schools if you went to a boarding school what was your experience with it did you enjoy it um like we said we can definitely see pros and cons mm -hmm. with it um but yeah you got anything you want to add before we go no, this was awesome. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, one more thing. We also want to learn more about just the education system, this stuff in general. So if you have ideas of things mm -hmm. we should check out or videos you recommend, please mm -hmm. feel free to leave that stuff in the comments. We definitely appreciate it. But uh, thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to discover anything and everything from the UK and Ireland. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.